And Alvin Lim wrote in with a great question on the NVIDIA Shield TV of something I haven't yet tested on it. We've done just about everything else you can imagine on the NVIDIA Shield TV, but we haven't yet uh, tested how well it can handle HEVC video files. So I went out and used my Jellyfish test file that I've been using on all of the other devices you've seen here on the channel lately, set my TV to 4K, and we played back a 140 megabit per second 4K HEVC 10-bit file with uh, Dolby True HD audio. We threw the book at it and it was able to play back just fine with no dropped frames. So I think you will have a very good uh, home theater experience even with the newer high bit rate files you might be coming across on your NVIDIA Shield. It performed every bit as well as the new KB Lake Intel processors we looked at uh, playing back that same file. And if you wanted to go out and find some of those files for yourself, you can get them at lan.tv slash jellyfish, which will take you right over to the Jellyfish video bitrate test file site. And they've got a video file for just about every configuration you can imagine, starting at three megabits per second at H.264, all the way up to some crazy bit rates with uh, HEVC 10-bit files like we were testing just a second ago. So great place to uh, put your home theater PC to the test. They even have some with embedded uh, digital audio also, so you can make sure your receiver and your device and everything else in between is working the way you expect it to. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters Mark Bollinger, and Cody Falk. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lan.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lan.tv slash s.